right so we'll start with the ana modeling today just we'll have one simple example to understand what is the meaning of ana modeling then uh, we'll see different types of modeling okay so in this sap ana modeling uh, first of all let us understand the meaning of what modeling okay so sap ana modeling so modeling uh, refers to what it is it is a, like an activity okay it is an activity of what uh, picking the data from the database table based on which we will create the views to uh, implement a business scenario so i repeat this modeling refers to what it is an act, it is like an activity where we pick the data from different database tables where we pick the data from one or more database table based on which we will create the views we will create the views to implement a business scenario so already we have seen already we know the meaning of views what are the views we have created is what database views and what cds views okay now this modeling views what are we are going to develop once we develop this uh, what modeling views these views can be given to our different tools for reporting purpose based on which the decision making will happen so I repeat this a modeling is nothing but it is a process it is an activity where we pick the data where we pick the data from one or more database tables based on which we will create the views to implement a business scenario and these views will be given to our different uh, tools for reporting purpose okay based on which the decision making will happen okay so this modeling process it involves what uh, uh, it involves uh, different types of uh, development of views basically we have three types of views attribute views analytical views and then what calculation views so what i can say is Uh, these attribute views and analytical views it's kind of outdated sap is recommending uh, to go only for what calculation views because calculation view includes the features of both attribute view and what analytical view so earlier we used to create what separate attribute view then we used to use that particular attribute view inside what analysis view i mean to say analytical view then after creating the analytical view we used to create the calculation view and inside the calculation view we used to use what analytical view i repeat once again the old approach is we used to develop the attribute view okay and then use it in what analytical view and then use the analytical view inside what calculation view and this calculation view is given to what reporting tools that is the uh, earlier scenario when ana was introduced in initial stages this is the process we used to follow but now what is what sap is recommending is to directly create the calculation views okay if you create the attribute and use it in analytical and then analytical inside calculation view it degrades the performance so how we degrades the performance means so first of all what is the meaning of a view where we project our data okay instead of exposing the complete table will expose will project only some important fields which are columns you require and will provide only some restricted data that is nothing but what view so in this view uh, the old approach why sap is uh, not recommending to go for old approaches degrades the performance how it degrades the performance so again now uh, it's a theoretical concept uh, we have sap ana engines okay we have different types of engines okay in as part of sap ana architecture we have what different types of engines like calculation engine join engine and uh, olap engine okay so calculation engine is responsible for executing calculation views olap engine is responsible for executing analytical views join engine is responsible for executing what attribute view so if you follow the old approach what is the old approach in the old approach 
first we don't know about what is this exactly this attribute view analytical view but just understand this is our old approach okay so in old approach first we used to develop what attribute view okay develop attribute view okay then what we do we we don't expose attribute view directly to the reporting tools always remember to the reporting tools i mean to say to the client tools when i say reporting tools it can be any tool it can be java application it can be dot net application it can be any of the tools like lumira business objects excel all these are what reporting tools okay so then we used to develop what analytical view okay so inside this analytical view what we used to do we used to consume what attribute view okay then we develop what another type of view called as what calculation view okay what exactly is the difference between all these views we will understand when we develop the examples okay so we used to develop the calculation view okay and inside this calculation view we used to consume what analytical view okay this is what the old approach so this old approach degrades the performance why because so to the reporting tools okay then this calculation view is consumed is consumed in what reporting tools okay so when i say reporting tools it can be anything it can be java java application it can be dot net application it can be what uh, bo application business object application it can be lumira okay it can be excel whatever it is like this you have different reporting tools okay this is the old approach so why sap is recommending not to go for this approach is here when we when the calculation view execution is started try to understand when the calculation view execution is started sap makes use of which engine calculation engine as i told you as part of sap ana architecture we have different types of engines calculation engine join engine and what olap engine so whenever the calculation view execution is started sap will make use of what calculation engine okay so this calculation engine whenever it encounters as part of calculation view what we have consume analytical view so whenever calculation engine encounters analytical view okay the old the entire data will be transferred from what calculation engine to what olap engine because olap engine is responsible for executing what analytical view okay so the data will be transferred from calculation engine to what olap engine okay when the olap engine is executing analytical view it encounters what attribute view because you have consumed the attribute view inside what analytical view so whenever olap engine encounters attribute view the entire data will be transferred from olap engine to what join engine because join engine is responsible for executing what attribute view so this transferring of data from one engine to another engine will slow down what view execution so why this is important is in the resume point of view or in the entry point of view don't say that we have developed attribute view and analytical view okay in the latest implementations they are deprecated will go only for a calculation view okay but this is only for knowledge purpose we will see examples on attribute view analytical view and then what calculation view. but in the entry point of view you say that you worked only on what calculation view okay but if anyone asks how do we develop attribute analytical yes we should be able to tell that but resume point of view you highlight only what calculation views okay then so this is the what uh, performance issue in what old approach in the new approach what is recommended it is recommended to create only what calculation view okay so in the new approach so when i say in the new approach uh, probably from sp11 service pack what 11 onwards it is recommended to create only what calculation view okay 
because this calculation view contains what features of what both analytical view what as well as what attribute view so directly we will create the calculation view understood so directly we will create the calculation view and then expose it to what then contribute inside what reporting tools okay so i repeat once again modeling is nothing but what it is a process of picking the data i mean to say we call it as slicing but in nothing but picking the data from what different database tables one or more database tables and creating the view okay and creating the view based on that particular uh, data based on that uh, table data to implement a business scenario then these views are exposed to our different reporting and what uh, reporting tools for what decision making we cannot expose our database views and cds views directly to this particular tools remember okay those cds views and uh, what database view we can what consume it from our uh, open sql statements as part of your above application but in order to expose it to what reporting tools it can be sap or non sap tools we go for what ana modeling so what i can say is mostly uh, as part of this ana modeling no mostly bw ana consultants will work on this modeling but again uh, uh, since it deals with views uh, there is a possibility that even abap consultant also may get an opportunity to work on what modeling but most of the times this is done by what bw ana consultant because we require some slight knowledge and what bw also but here we assume that we don't know anything about bw directly we'll focus on what development activity and we'll see how to use it in our abap applications Understood. So, any question so far? Please ask. So, how many types of engines are there? Means basically, I can say what we have other engines also, but as part of this modeling, we are concerned only with what uh, some of the engines, something like this. calculation views it will be executed by what a engine called as what calculation engine okay then we have analytical view this would be executed by what olap engine then we have what join engine which is responsible for executing what what attribute to views okay attribute views okay so this is a process calculation engine is responsible for what executing the calculation views olap engine is responsible for executing the analytical view and join engine is responsible for executing what attribute view so in the old approach what we used to do first we used to develop the attribute view then we used to develop the analytical view as part of analytical view we used to consume what attribute view and then we used to develop the calculation view and as part of the calculation view we used to consume what analytical view so when the actual calculation view is executed by calculation engine it encounters what analytical view okay so the entire data will be transferred from what calculation engine to what olap engine okay and then whenever the olap engine is executing the analytical view it encounters what attribute view whenever it encounters attribute view the entire data will be transferred from olap engine to what join engine okay so like this the data will be transferred from what one engine to another engine which degrades the what performance of the view that is why in the new approach directly will create the calculation view because it includes the features of what attribute as well as what analytical view okay and this calculation view are then exposed to what reporting tool okay for decision making okay so for developing these views either attribute views or analytical view or calculation view 
okay we will be using what uh, what modeling modeling perspective so far we are using what development perspective and what abap perspective okay for our development okay so for this modeling uh, ana modeling development of views we go for what modeling perspective this modeling perspective will provide what different types of wizards for creating the our sap ana modeling views okay so and as part of this modeling only uh, we have the it has got the ability to launch what sql console where we can write our business logic so when we come to calculation view we'll be discussing on that sql console but as of now we don't require sql console without writing any code okay by using drag and drop facility we have the option to design what attribute view and what analytical view okay so basically this attribute view one second this yeah no no you can take that now the front end part you know it will be starting i am little busy till april ending yeah it will start from probably from may first week no no uh, what no no uh, this back end part is separate uh, front end part is separate and uh, yeah theory part yeah i yeah no no the only theory part uh, without any front end and back end uh, i have given it for two weeks okay it's a separate module we are starting from me yeah if you want to get into that theory launchpad configuration uh, yes you require both front end and back end hmm. yeah you can directly go for the theory launchpad it's only two weeks around 10 classes will be there no for that the prequis is both front end and back end yeah you call me somewhere after april 27th i'll confirm the exact date and time fix okay 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 fine okay chal chal thank you right so let us see quickly how to develop this particular attribute view so attribute view now uh, when do we go for attribute view means uh, when there is no scope for calculations okay when there is no scope for calculations means very uh, what uh, medium uh, or, or i can not medium also for very low complex operations we will go for what attribute view basically these attribute views are used for what projecting what master data okay projecting what master data okay so when i say master data it can be what any data like what uh, customer master data vendor master data okay for projecting those kind of data we'll go for what this particular attribute view yeah here attribute means uh, yeah here attribute means it is nothing but like what customer id okay or vendor id uh, material number city country all those things comes under what uh, attribute view am i clear so so as a consultant we need to decide whether to you to go for calculation view or analytical view and what attribute view but as of now as of today's implementation forget about analytical and attribute directly always will go for calculation view but in the older uh, the initial stage of ana okay uh, we used to develop what attribute view so when do we go for developing attribute view means whenever you want to project our master data then we used to go for what attribute view okay so let me take a simple example to develop this particular attribute view okay so as i told you for developing this ana based uh, ana modeling views we require what modular perspective one second let me connect to the server so what is my requirement here uh, i want to project some material data okay try to understand i want to project some material master data like uh, when i say master data of material we have what uh, general material data from mara table 
material descriptions from what MAKT table, material plant data from what MARC table like this. So whenever you want to project the master data, we'll go for what attribute view. So let me open Anna Studio. Right, so I am in development perspective here. I can also use development perspective. It's not compulsory that I have to go to what uh, modeling uh, ana modeler perspective. I can also do it in development perspective. Suppose if you are in development perspective, right? We are in systems tab here. Right. Let me connect to the database. Yeah, it is successfully connected. Now you can see here as part of this uh, content, okay, as part of this content, uh, we have what different, uh, what? Okay, one second. We have different packages here. One second. Yeah, we have our package also Z gems of package understood so this is my package here done so one second let me right click on the package I'll say new you can see here we have what attribute view am I clear so it's not compulsory that I have to go for modeler perspective but in the older versions of Ana studio compulsory we have to shift to what Ana modeler perspective but in the newer versions you can see here in the, I'm in the development perspective only the system tab okay under content catalog contains what schemas all these are what schemas okay so in the content uh, what folder assume that we have one package so let us consider this package these ends of package i'll right click on this i can say what a new attribute view analytical view and what calculation view. i can directly if i right click on the package new attribute view okay it is asking me to create the what uh, attribute view okay i can do like this or else any of we know this let me switch to what sap ana modeler perspective okay so i'm just shifting to sap ana modeler perspective yeah i mean sap ana modeler perspective now you can see the title here also we have what same thing systems here also same thing catalog and content so i can directly read from development also okay so this is my content right right click on this new first let me create my own package once again how do you create the package right click on the content uh, what folder new package let me give the package name as z modeling okay done delivery unit so again uh, this comes under transportation I'll discuss this after modeling. So, okay, I'm just skipping this delivery. It's not a mandatory field, right? So delivery unit is responsible for transportation. So let us not focus on transportation now. Just give the mandatory field, which is name here. Let's think the name of the package. I'll say, okay, done. So a package gets created. What is the package name? Z model. Now what you have to do as part of this package, I can create what? different types of uh, what views so i'll right click on the what package new okay new what is this attribute view so first of all what is your requirement i want to expose what material data okay when i say material data uh, it comes under what master data so whenever you want to project master data we'll go for what attribute views so i'll right click on the package and I'll say new, what is this? Attribute view. Done. It is asking me the name of the what? View. So I'll give the name of the view as, let me give it as attribute underscore what? Material. Okay. So generally, na, the general naming convention is attribute views will start with what? AT. Okay. So I'm giving it as ATTR underscore material. ATTR underscore material. Okay, I'll give the label also, nothing but description. Okay, I'll give it as ATTR underscore material data. Done. 
okay so you can see here name of the attribute is what attr underscore material label is so and so package is so and so what is the view type here we have what attribute view analytical view and calculation view so i'll go for what attribute view done then here we have a concept of subtypes again let us not focus on this one at this stage by default is standard basically i think we have three subtypes yeah we have time derived and standard by default it is standard what exactly is the difference we'll understand going forward when i create calculation views okay so i'll go for standard here okay by default is standard so this is my visa done i'll say finish done so you can see now yeah you can see it has provided me the layout okay as part of this layout basically we have what two tabs here one is semantic tab another is what data foundation tab okay so this is your layout this is your details and this is your output here done right so first what you have to do is so as part of this attribute view we have basically what two tabs assume this is like what tabs or nodes what are they semantics nodes and what data foundation node so first of all what i have to do okay whenever you are creating the database you also how do you create create view as select so and so okay so we have to project your fields from which table you want to get the data from the mara table understood so what i'll do as part of this data foundation node you can observe now i can increase the size also see it if i double click on this part if i double click on this it will be expanded like this i can expand so that you'll have a better view at the time of development again if i click on this it will reduce the size okay done so what is my requirement now i want to pick the field from what mara table so here you can see in the data foundation node there is a plus icon here add objects i'll just click on add objects done it is asking type the object name to search for so from which table you want to project the fields from the mara table so i'll search for what mara yeah done so it is showing me different schemas okay so what is the schema configured already we know if you go to the t code dba cockpit dba cockpit you will get the schema name so what is the schema name in our case sap abap 1 understood our ana database is configured to which schema sap abap 1 how do we get this if you go to dba cockpit t code you will get that particular schema name which is configured so i'll choose what mara what is these are all schemas here so what is this sap abap 1 i'll choose mara here then i'll say okay yeah you can see here it is showing me what all the fields it is showing me all the fields i am not interested to select all the fields i am interested to select only few fields okay so let what are fields you want to select you can see here uh, this is your layout this is your details and this is your output see the hierarchies okay this is the layout so what i did in the layout first as part of this data foundation i clicked on this plus symbol add objects where i selected the table name as mara it is listing out all the fields of mara table okay so you select the required fields which are fields you want to select you can see here there is a button here okay just select this if you click on this uh, fields you can see right hand side you will get the selected columns so i'll just choose matnr done you can see in the right hand side this is my selected column matnr what else you want i will select the er name okay i'll select uh, mtart understood so i'm selecting what basically three columns done okay so this is my one of the table so generally views means what i can create the view based on what multiple tables also na so what i'll do now again i again i want one more table okay so these are as of now selected fields again i'll go to data foundation you can see here mara is available here i'll click on plus symbol okay what is the other table i want to get the descriptions they are available in which table makt so i'm searching for makt select the table makt say okay done is it showing here yeah, i can see in the details tab only it is showing me what makt okay so in this makt what is the field you want to show material description what is the field which will uh, hold the material description makt so i'll just select this 
that. So you can see here we have what MA KTH. So overall I projected what four fields. This is nothing but called what projection. Okay, like what uh, three fields from Mara table and one field from what MA KTH. Then what you have to do? You have to provide the joint condition. Uh, what is the joint condition between these two tables? Uh, MA TNR. So what I'll do see here. In the details section, okay, link the MATNR of Mara table with the MATNR of what? With the MATNR of what? MAKT table. So I'll just see here. Let's try to focus. Just drag and drop like this. Okay, just drag and drop. MATNR of Mara with what? MATNR of what? MAKT. Okay, so we specified what? Join conditions here. Achha, one more thing. Uh, okay. If you know the relationship between Mara table and MAKT table, each material can contain n number of descriptions in MAKT table. Na? Understood? A material can have descriptions in what? Multiple languages. I am not interested to pick the descriptions of multiple languages. I am interested to pick only the description maintained in English. So what I have to do here? I have to do some filtering kind of thing. So what I'll do see here, observe here. This is my MAKTX field. Okay. So I want, what is the requirement? I want to display the descriptions only in what? English. So what I'll do in MAKT section. Okay. I'll right click on this. Okay. Right click in MAKT details. I'll right click on MAKTX field. Oh, sorry. SPRAS. SPRAS is the field which holds the language key. Na? Right click on what? SPRAS. I click on this plus. Yeah, you have an option over here. Apply filter. Am I clear? I'll choose apply filter. Done. So what is the operator here? We have different types of operators here. I'll go for equal to. What is the value you want to give? English. So I'll give what? E. Say OK. Done. So I applied a filter on what? Sprass figure. Done. Okay, so what we have done here, we have provided the join between Mara and what MAKT. Acha, when you are providing the join again, we should tell what type of join it is. So what I'll do, see here. I'll double click on this line. I'll double click on this line. Acha, you can see the properties here. Join type is what referential it says. So if you want, you can change it. I'll just double click on this. Okay, you can see here. Am I clear? Double click on this join. What I'm meeting a left hand set table is Mara, right hand set table is MAKT. What is the field which you have linked MATNR of Mara with MATNR of what MAKT? What is the default join type here? Referential it seems. Okay, so we'll discuss this referential going forward. What I'll do for the time being is we have inner join, left order join, and right order join. Already we have discussed in the native scale. Inner join, I think referential also we have discussed. Referential when it is creating the foreign key. Okay, so inner join, left order join, right order join, and what referential. Now, here I want to pick only what description. Na? So I'll go for what text join. Understood? So, when do we go for text join? When you want to pick up only the description, you'll go for what text join. So, I'll choose, choose what text join here. Join type is what text join. Okay, done, 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 done. Okay. Okay, when you specify one second, please. Yeah, good. You can observe here. If it is a joint type is referential, language column is disabled here. If I choose inner also, it is disabled. If I choose left order also, it is disabled. If I choose right order, it is disabled. But if I choose text join here, you can see language column is enabled now. Let's text join. When do we go for text join? When you want to pick the descriptions, descriptions maintained in a different language so in our case in this right hand set table what is a, what is a column which will maintain the language spras now so i give the language column so i'll just click on this yeah you can see spras language column is what spras done that's all okay just say okay okay so i've selected two tables i selected the required fields these are my columns done 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 okay so as of now i'm not discussing calculated column just leave it that's all so my view development is done what type of view i developed 
attribute view I developed. So let me save it. What is the name of the attribute view? ATTR underscore what? Material. Huh? Okay, done. Then, then the somewhere activation button is there. Yeah. Here also it's there. Yeah, I'll just click on save and activate. Okay. Completed with errors, huh? Okay, it is saying that it is completed with errors. What is that error? Let me double click on this. Hmm. What is that? Activation ID. Activation failed for at least one object. Okay. Encountered an error, so on. So, Achha, what is the error here? No attribute has been specified as a key. The good. So, at least how many, okay, if you observe this, let me close the job log. So, how many columns you have selected here? Basically, four columns. Okay. You are not telling which is a key column. At least you have to make one of the column is what key column. Where do we specify that? See here. In the semantics. In the semantics. Okay. There are the four fields. But you have not selected any of the key fields. So you can see here there is a column here key. Okay. What is this type indicates here? Attribute. So I'll just select this MATNR as what? Key field. Done. 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 Let me save it now. Done. Let me try to activate. Am I getting any error? Good. Now what is saying here? Completed successfully. Completed successfully. Done. Okay, let me go back. So I will summarize once again what we did here. In order to develop this ANA modeling views, we require what? Which perspective? What? Modeler perspective. Okay. Or from the development perspective also we can do it. So either in development perspective or in modeler perspective, we are in the system tab. In the system tab, what we did under content, under content, I have created one package. What is the package I created? Z. Modeling is a package I created. I right clicked on this package. I created what? Attribute view. Okay. When do we go for attribute view? Whenever you want to project master data, which doesn't involve any kind of uh, complex or medium calculations will go for what attribute view understood so when do we go for attribute views when there is no scope for calculations when you want to just project the master data will go for what attribute view so i created the attribute view okay whenever we create the attribute view two nodes are associated semantics and what data foundation as part of data foundation we need to select the we need to add the tables okay as part of the tables what we have done we selected the required fields from mara table i selected three columns from what from mak table i have selected what material description then i want this material description uh, to come in english so what i did i applied a filter on what spras i right clicked on that and i gave a filter saying that it is equal to what english then what you have to do, you have to specify the join. So I have dragged and dropped the MAT, I linked the MATNR of Mara with MATNR of what? MAKT. As part of that join, we need to specify the join type. Since I want to pick only the descriptions from the right hand side table, since I want to pick the descriptions from the right hand side table, I am going for the join type as a text join. Other types of join, we will we'll see going forward. Okay. So whenever you specify the join type is text join, we need to specify the language column. What is the language column in the right hand side table? Spras. So mention that, say OK. Done. Then I have done the activation. It was giving an error because there is no field marked as what? Key field. So as part of semantics, you make one of the column as what? Technically, which is a key field here, MATNR. Done. I have activated that. OK, that's it. OK, so it is completed successfully. Now we can uh, use our, uh, we can test our uh, what? attribute view how do we test it this is my z modeling yeah, you can see here as part of this package we have a attribute view under this this is my attribute view name right click on this and say data preview right click on the attribute view and say data preview are we getting that okay so this is my what data so you can see we have three types of uh, previews here analysis it seems distinct it's in raw data it says i'll go to raw data good i got the columns yes you can see here the description is coming in what english material number uh, 
created by material type and material description picked from the right hand side table so this is my data okay this is my data okay we have three types of uh, previews here this is raw data if i go to distinct values okay distinct values if i select mtnl i want to check what are the values available for a material number so if i click on this yeah you can see these are the distinct values for what material number understood these are the material is available okay they are the different types of what materials these are the different materials available it has shown up to first one i want to select the users who has created let me drag and drop this one yeah you can see here okay good you can see here this user has created what these many number of materials this user has created this many number of material i mean clear to everyone okay so there are the different users who has created the ana user has created how many materials 49 materials okay this is nothing but distinct values okay raw data done okay and this analysis also we can go okay so i want to check graphically i want to check graphically so what i'll do is yeah uh, in the analysis column what i'll do i'll drag and drop the er name to label section done and uh, what else i'll drag and drop the material number to values section good you can see now yeah it is showing in me what chart format okay so this user has created this many materials understood this user has created this many materials done 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 so we are getting in the graphical format okay ana user has created this many materials okay if i go to table again this is normal table this is grid it seems this is html format okay chart we have different types of uh, what what is this pie chart also is there good and so this is only for what analysis okay as a developer if you want to analyze the data in what pictorial graphical format we have this option okay but our job generally is what to develop the uh, to create the views and then expose that views to what different reporting tools but we don't have the option okay we don't have the option to expose this attribute view to the uh, we cannot directly consume this attribute view using what remote uh, reporting tools we can consume only analytical views and what calculation views okay but this attribute view i think we can consume it from our open sql we can consume from what our open sql one second please yeah we can consume from our open sql okay before i do that any question so far so in this you can observe here i have not touched at this one what is this we have if you see this output section here one second yeah uh, only these things we have selected we have not discussed on what calculated columns we'll see how to use that calculate columns also before that any questions please ask pravin samir vankat no no sridhar good all right okay now quickly uh, let me try to consume it from my what open skill acha i'm sorry i cannot directly consume this uh, modeling views in open sql i'm sorry uh, we need to create external view for this okay i repeat once again i cannot directly consume this modeling views this modeling views from our open sql we need to we need to convert them we need to create what an external view on top of this particular modeling view so let me quickly show that let me activate this so what is the name of my attribute view attr underscore material so if you want to create an external view if you want to create an external view on top of this modeling view okay we need to go to abap perspective so what i'll do is yeah you can shift into abap perspective yeah you can see i'll go to abap perspective understood i'll go to abap perspective right i'm in abap perspective let me connect to my database okay then it is connected 
done 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 okay now what i'll do quickly is what is the name of my attribute attr underscore material which has got how many columns four columns okay so do we have any favorite package here yeah already we are having one package this is nsoft underscore package i think initially we created this okay done 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 okay so what i'll do is what is my requirement now i want to consume this particular modeling views in our open sql that is from our ABAP programs we cannot directly consume we need to create an external view on top of this how do you create the external view it's a simple navigation it's here i'll right click i'm in the ABAP perspective remember i'm in the ABAP perspective so i mean to say we are in what ADT tool ABAP development tool okay so right click on your required package or local object anything is same right click on that new what is this other ABAP repository object right click on that new other ABAP repository object done yeah here I need to give what okay I need to choose what here yeah under dictionary you can see here under dictionary yeah under dictionary I have to choose dictionary view what are the view we have created is what modeling view it is not called as a dictionary view now I am trying to create what dictionary view I'll say next done it is asking the name okay so I'll give the name as what is the name of my attribute view attr underscore material na? so I'll give the name as z extension underscore attr underscore material so for my convenience I'm giving this name oh what is the error I got 18 characters exceed the maximum of 16 characters good okay so it should max 16 itself and it should be minimum 4 I think let me check I'll give simply ZX let me check whether I'll get any error okay what you what view you want to create I don't want to create a new view here I'm creating a what external view on top of what modeling view so I'll choose what external view done okay the moment I choose external view it is asking me what ana view nothing but ana modeling view Achha. so let me browse here what is the name of my view now uh, what attr underscore material na? let me search yeah you can see here attr underscore material which is part of which package z modeling I'll choose this say okay done so z modeling dot package name dot the view name ana view name ana view name okay done I'll, okay i don't have next and finish here actually probably it is not giving the error here it should be minimum of four i think it should be okay no description i have not given now okay i'll give the description here right i gave the description done yeah now it is enabled i'll say next ah, good i got an error here import of ana view is not possible see abap log for what details what is abap log it is showing here in each log it has shown yeah what is that name must have at least what four digits so minimum four maximum 16 so i'll give it as z external underscore attr underscore what mat provide the name okay choose external view browse for that okay say next done okay it is asking for a request i'll choose an existing request let's say finish done okay this is earlier case so done my external view is what created my external view is created done okay and you can see there is a button called as synchronize here uh, i don't know how many of you remembered i don't know where i covered that i think yeah when i created that database procedures when I created the stored procedures, if you want to consume, if you want to consume that in our ABAP report, <coughs> we were creating the database procedure proxy. We were creating the database procedure proxy. At that time also, we had what? Synchronize button. If I click on the synchronize button, whatever is the latest version of version is there for this attribute view, that will be reflected to this. It is the meaning of synchronize. Make clear synchronize with ana repository means whatever the latest version of attribute uh, view is there that 
view will be reflected to our external view. Okay. What is it saying? When I click on that, the most recent definition of the view will be retrieved from the ABAP repository. Your manual changes will be reapplied to the retrieved content. Do you want to continue? Yes, no problem. Done. Anyhow, we have not any changes. Done. So we are done with creating the external view. Somewhere you'll have activate button here. Yeah, I'll just click on activate here. That's it. Activation is done. So we have created what? An external view on top of your ANA view. Nothing but ANA modeling view. What is the name of the external view here? Z E X T underscore attribute underscore what? Mat. Remember this. Now we can consume it from our what? Open skill. So let me quickly finish off that part also. Z consume underscore external view. Executable program. I'll save it in what? Local objects. Okay, done, 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 done. Okay. Let me quickly do that. So what what is my requirement here? I need to what? Consume my what? External view. Okay, I need to consume my external view. So let's quickly see how to develop that. It's very simple. What I'll do is let me since we'll have multiple records, I'll create an internal table data LT underscore material. Okay. I'll say here what type table of what is my external view name? Z E X T underscore attribute underscore what mat. Okay. Z E X T underscore attribute underscore mat. Then I'll create the reference for my ALV. O underscore SLV type ref2. What is the class? SLV class CL underscore SLV underscore watch table done. Now retrieve data from what? External view. I'll say select any of four fields are there. So I'll say select star from what is the external view name? GEXT underscore attribute underscore what mat okay into table into table lt underscore what mat done that's it done if size of ours is equal to what zero okay i'll just call the factory method of the table what is the table cl underscore slv underscore table what is the method we have factory method done so as part of this factory method, <coughs> any of these are optional. Importing, I'll import, I'll import, I'll import inside my reference. What is that? O underscore LV. What is the table name here? Uh, LT underscore what? T underscore what? Mat. Let me do it as T underscore mat. Done. Okay. So it might raise exception. Huh? Okay. Try. Exception raise type I done 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 okay. Then what I have to do? I need to call the display method. What is the log o underscore LV? That that class has got one method called as a display. I'm just calling that. That's it. Okay, very simple. Let us not focus much on this. Okay, already we know this. I'm just calling one static method which takes the internal table as input and returns it. So what I'm doing is select start from what external view. Okay, it is not the modeling view. Save it, check it, done. When I execute, good, I got the data. Done, 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 done. Yes. Now we need to generate the field catalog for column labels, all those things. So that field catalog part, any of you know that? Yes, we are getting the data. Am I clear? I'll do one thing. I have not checked it to be fair. Let me check it like this. I'll say, select star from what is my attribute view name directly 
What is the name I give? Anything you remember? What is the attribute view name I give? Ah, ATTR underscore material. Na? Okay. ATTR underscore material. So let's start from ATTR underscore material into table. What? T underscore mat I'll say. I'll do one thing. Let me check whether it's recognized. I don't think so. Let me check it. ATTR underscore material. That. Let me save it. Check for the, good, good. I got an error. ATTR underscore material is unknown. See here. What is the Anna view name? ATTR underscore material. It is not recognizing that. It is not recognizing. So compulsory, I need to create what? External view on top of that particular Anna view. Then only I can consume it from our open SQL. That's it. Okay. So I'll just summarize. When do we go for attribute view? When you don't have any medium or complex calculations, we'll go for what attribute view. Or simple way I can say, whenever you want to project any master data, then we'll go for what attribute view. So what is the master data I'm projecting here? Material and its descriptions. From how many tables we have created that view? Two tables. When you are creating that view from multiple tables, obviously you have to provide the join condition. What is the join type I specified? Text join. Because I want to only pick up what? description so whenever you go for text join type we need to provide the language column what is the language column i give it's pras and since i want only english okay i applied filter on that particular spras also then we have created the model view we have created the attribute view we are able to check the data preview okay now as i told you attribute view cannot be directly consumed from what reporting tools we can only consume it from our open sql but generally attribute view, as I told you earlier, will be used inside what? Analytical view. And your tomorrow, what are the attribute view I created? What are the attribute view I created? I'll consume it in what? Analytical view. And I'll do some calculations also. Okay. Then we'll consume this particular analytical view. Am I clear? So this is a way to create the external view. External views are always created on top of what? Ana views. Ana views are nothing but what? Ana modeling views so any questions in this part please ask me calculate column just ignore anyhow next to two three days we'll work uh, extensively on this calculate column don't worry about this these are database columns based on this database column we can derive additional calculated columns so that is nothing but calculate anyhow we will discuss this from tomorrow onwards with other examples. Any questions in this part, please ask me. Praveen Samir Venkat. But in the interview perspective, uh, don't ever say that you created the attribute. It is deprecated. Strongly you can say. You worked only on what calculation view. This is only for information to understand the differences. Yeah, Praveen, please go ahead. You're asking something. No, if it is deprecated, then you know, in, uh, <laughs> if you want a view, then yeah. directly in OpenSQL. Yeah, yeah this is OpenSQL only. No, no, no. Hmm. Here we are external. You know, external view we are consuming here, but Correct. in case you know attribute is totally deprecated, so what is the way that you choose only selected? Is it only through open SQL statement or like how? No, I didn't get you. If attribute is deprecated, like how we are going to select only the required fields, like yeah, what in, is the other option? Calculation view also. When you are creating the calculation view. Okay, there also we have the provision to select only required fields. Just like but what we did. Yeah. Some kind of, uh, uh, you know, sum and aggregation functions, right? Including that, right? Yeah, it includes projection as well as aggregations. Projection means again what? Selecting what? Uh, required fields. Okay. It's embedded only in one. Yes. Calculation. yes. All, all, all the features. 
of attribute view and analytical view is embedded inside calculation view internally. We don't have the okay. fill, but the functionality will can be achieved from there. Right, right, correct. Done. So tomorrow, what we'll do is we'll see how to create the analytical view, how to consume uh, this attribute view inside what analytical view. It's also very simple. And we'll also create what calculation view. Inside that calculation view, we'll consume what analytical view. So one example, we'll see how to create the calculation view consuming this one. Okay. And we'll see another calculation view without consuming this six. Directly we'll develop the calculation view from the scratch. So then you'll get the what better understanding of this ANA modeling. Okay. And if possible. I can also show it from Excel, but 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 uh, one second, please. One second. I don't know whether that uh, if you want to consume it from Excel, na, we require one plugin to be installed. Multi-dimensional expression language. I don't know if it's available or not. One second. Yeah, good. We have that tool, plugin, no problem. Okay, so we require this particular plugin here. Okay, SAP and MDX provider. Uh, we call it as multi dimensional expression language. Okay, don't worry about it. I'll discuss that tomorrow. Is it allowing? Yes, good. Uh, one second. Actually, you don't require this, but this is only for our satisfaction. Test connection succeeded. Good. Once again. Good, 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 good. Okay. One second, this. Good, 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 good. Okay, this analytical view only, you know, done. One second. Done, working fine, fine, working fine. Anyway, I'll cover this tomorrow. So, if you want to consume it from Excel, we require this plugin. Anyway, I'll discuss this tomorrow. What is the plugin MDX provider require? Multi dimensional expression language. It's available. Any I'll consume it tomorrow. Just leave it. Working fine. Okay, so tomorrow we'll focus on that part.
right so i'll stop now tomorrow also i'll take this session around seven only okay we'll discuss analytical view and how to consume it in attribute how to consume attribute view inside that and how to consume it from excel and then we'll start with what calculation view also but don't focus on attribute and analytical view okay and tomorrow only we'll see the concept of what calculated columns done so i'll send the meeting at tomorrow around seven o'clock done so i'm winding up for today we'll continue tomorrow Shalom.